Hi everybody, it's Miss Boyd with Lesson 5 of Mind Up, and today we will learn about mindful seeing. In our last lesson, we learned about the RAS and how it filters unimportant details and focuses on important details. When we practice mindful seeing, we will notice more details and will be better able at describing the details too. For example, if your friend has a new haircut, your brain can recognize your friend is the same person and that only their hair is different. This means you used your eyes and observed the details. Observing details is important training when you are practicing mindful seeing. Mindful seeing is observing what your eyes actually see. It is a lot different than when we have memories or mental pictures or just using the imagination, which is also important, but in mindful seeing, your eyes are active, so you can notice and see more and more details. Your eyes will become very sharp with time and practice because what you practice grows stronger. Our first exercise is similar to I spy. We will use adjectives. Adjectives are descriptive words. Adjectives can describe our senses. It allows us to explain our experiences with more detail so we can remember them and share the details with others. So when I say an adjective, look around your space and find something that matches the description. You don't have to find everything either. You just do your best. Let's begin. Take a slow breath in and let it out. Now look around your space and find something blue. Look for something yellow, something white. Can you find something with stripes? Can you see something with glitter or sparkles? Can you notice something hard, soft, prickly? Can you see something rough, smooth? Find something that is round, square. Can you notice if there's anything on the wall, on the ceiling? Notice something that is tiny, something that is heavy. something that is light. Notice something that is old, something that is new. Great everybody, how did you do? Noticing details is something we can train with practice. Many jobs require training the senses to notice details. For example, scientists train their sense of seeing to name and notice details so they can understand the world around them and help people. They also use tools like telescopes, microscopes, magnifying glasses, so they can see more details. Doctors train their eyes to recognize illnesses in their patients. They also use x-rays, CAT scans, and MRIs to see inside the body. The more details they notice and see, the more they can help their patients get better. In this next exercise, we will train our eyes to focus and filter just like scientists. We will start first with core practice so our brains can think clearly and calmly. Remember, when we use a PFC in hippocampus, we will put aside the emotions of what we see 
and just train our brain to notice the details objectively of what we're looking at. Let's sit tall, start to breathe. Close your eyes for a moment. Notice the breath coming in. Notice the breath going out. Repeat a few more times. Mindfully and slowly open your eyes. Let's look at some photos from the backyard. What did you notice happened when you focused only on your sense of seeing? Were you able to see more and more details with practice? Were you mindful of the words you used to describe what you saw? Can you think of how mindful seeing will help you achieve your goals and help you enjoy your sports and hobbies a whole lot more? This week, Exercise your brain with your own I spy game. Use descriptive clues and try out new adjectives. Can you think of books that have hidden pictures to train your sense of seeing? Start training your brain to see mindfully every day. Look closely at objects and notice new details that you may not have noticed before. There is an additional video this week that will explore the world of optical illusions and mindful seeing. Great work everybody! Until next week, be happy, be safe, be healthy. Bye!